Last year you voted on the matter of home ownership and property ownership, didn't you? But you voted wrong, according to the pseudo elect in electorals on the court. They struck it down. And both national parties are recommending a, a law today on the congressional level that would put you in jail without a trial by jury if you didn't want to sell or lease your property to someone. That's been thought up by this intellectual crowd, pseudo intellectual crowd, who doesn't think you've got sense enough to know who you want to sell or lease your own property to. Another thing they're going to have to be strong about, and which people are concerned over this nation, is the threat to the internal security of our country by the breakdown of law and order. And it's a sad commentary when you cannot walk on the streets or in the parks in the large cities of our country. And if you go out of this building tonight and somebody knocks you in the head, the person who knocks you in the head is out of jail before you get to the hospital, and on Monday morning they will try the policeman. They won't try the person who knocked you in the head. We're going to have to start trying criminals on Monday instead of the policeman in Los Angeles or the policeman anywhere in the country. <laughs> and the Supreme Court of our country has handcuffed the police. They have rendered decisions today that are absolutely ludicrous and asinine. Turn people loose every day who are self-proven and confessed murderers of five or more people. You read about it, you've seen it. And when they turn somebody loose, who's a self-proven murderer of five or more people, some pseudo-intellectual tells us that really he's not to blame. Society is to blame because his papa didn't care him to see the Los Angeles Rams play when he was a little boy. 